If there's something I can't get enough of, it's Malaysian food. It is the best. But it came to a point in my life where I battled with visceral fat and obesity without even realizing it. Because I thought I was healthy when I was not. That insight forced me to rethink my relationship with food. And in this video, I want to share with you my journey, show you the demons that I faced and the joys that I had to make. I also I want to show you what I had to do when everything failed and how I turned things around ultimately. And in the end of this video, I'm going to ask you a crucial question. So please watch till the end of this video. But for now, sit back, relax and enjoy this video. I was fit when I arrived in Malaysia and it was so easy to fall in love with Malaysian food. Who wouldn't? Because Malaysia has got it all. The best of all worlds when it comes to food. You got the vibrant flavors of nasi lemak, the tasty crispiness of a well done roti chanai, the satisfying slurp, yes slurp, of a great ho fun, and the rich taste of fried rice, enriched with a lot of sambal. And then of course you got fried kuei diao and tandoori chicken and the banana leaf. They all hold a special place in my heart. And of course you got the ramen burgers which seem to me to be an upgrade on the normal burgers and coming from the Western world I also like to indulge in Western food be it a pizza or spaghetti and then you have Japanese food Vietnamese food all kinds of food in Malaysia you name it you've got it and for all types of food Malaysia always puts a different spin on it to make it even better it's Malaysianizing this type of food and for years and years and years, I actually thought I lived healthily. I regularly took my vitamins. I drank my water. I walked whenever I could walk. I had a good amount of sleep. So what could go wrong? I even joined some gym centers every now and then. Even so, they never became my home. But along the years, something started to feel off. The wheels fall off the wagon. I got to the point when I got out of breath during parts of my training. I didn't fit anymore more into my favorite clothes and people friends pointed out hey Andreas have you put on weight so being the guy that I am I plan to do something about it not too much hey because I was still very much in denial so I took up a bit of running not too much I wanted to stay in my comfort zone and of course it wasn't enough nothing really changed Honestly, it was just the plaster that I put a top on a festering wound. I had to confront this new reality and it forced me to take a deeper look into my life, my food intake and my lifestyle. And I started to make some changes. And it started with some simple, simple steps. I bought a watch and I bought a scale. Nothing really revolutionary, but both together took a deep look into what was really going on inside my body. And I was shocked. The results reflected my unhealthy lifestyle. The visceral fat was off the charts. My BMI level was way too high. I lacked protein. My stress was too much. I didn't drink enough water apparently. You name it, I got it. Not good. Initially, of course, I blamed everything. I blamed the scale. Hey, this scale must be wrong. I am healthy. Repeatedly stepping onto the scale didn't help as well. The results didn't change. So something inside of me ultimately awakened. You see, luckily I am a curious guy and I'm very determined to get to the bottom of things. So I took a deeper look at two different areas, the food and my lifestyle. And I realized that my food intake didn't keep me healthy. And fear not, I didn't mean to cut Malaysian food out from my life. It's just too good. And then I'm living a sedentary lifestyle. I'm sitting behind the computer the whole day long, do my coaching, interact with clients, do my YouTube do my social media not much of a movement I love watching movies snacking away indulging in my favorite Netflix shows I came to a crossroad and asked myself the question is that really how I wanted to keep living my life I didn't inspire to get a body full of six apps but really what I wanted was getting back to a body and a lifestyle that makes me feel good feeling healthy fresh relaxed with a good energy level so here are the things 
things I did to make those changes. First, I learned about food. I'm pretty accurate nowadays with the type of food that I eat and the calories that I'm getting into my body. So I do know that if I'm eating a roti chennai, how much do I need to do to get rid of those additional calories? If I'm eating a roundly burger, I do know what it takes for me to take out that calories as well. Like yesterday, when I went to the TRX mall once again, and we had a wonderful prawn soup, I knew my body fat would be off the scale again, that I had to scale down during the following days. I'm only eating until I am full. It's hot in Malaysia. I love my nasi goreng and I like to finish my food, but I learned to eat slightly slower, not always, and listen to my body and realize I'm getting full. And the moment I'm getting full, I'm pushing my plate away and say to myself, I have got enough and stop eating at that point of time. It is so incredible. Even when I'm ordering food in the mamak stall, I'm asking for lesser rice, not the huge amount of rice that I sometimes get. It's a little thing that makes a difference. I'm now eating a lot of nuts when I'm watching TV. It's not that I want to give up on my snacks. I just love the movement of my jaw. But nuts are most likely healthier than other types of food that I use to snack while watching TV. And one of my favorite ways of watching TV is to walk in front of the TV set while watching the show. I'm no longer sitting only in front of the TV. And most of the time, my set is to walk at least 5,000 steps, which is about 15 minutes. So I'm not rushing, but along that line, I move my body and I move my arms some more. It's all about burning away the calories and no longer sitting there only. But it's huge and it's really, really helpful. I also prefer to walk at places where I usually would have to sit and wait, be it in the bank, be it at the car service center. I'm just walking a little bit here and there. I'm no longer sitting there and just engaging myself with my mobile phone. No, I'm moving my body. Now the next two points I want to make are a little bit harder to do, but they are also important to me. I'm staying in the condominium and I'm running first down the condominium every single floor and then I'm running around the condominium area at least four kilometers. I'm spicing it up some more. In the end of running around my condominium area, I'm starting to run back up the floors. And as I'm running across the aisles, I stop in the middle, I do my two to three burpees at every single floor, huffing and puffing and sweating away, but it feels incredibly great so rewarding. But I'm not always doing this. I'm watching YouTube videos and there are some favorite channels I'm watching where people do exercises on YouTube channels and I'm following them. It might be a one hour challenge or a 30 minute challenge, but I'm doing the exercises spread out on a yoga mat, huffing and puffing, sweating away. Honestly, I enjoy the sweat nowadays. And in the end of those exercises, I am zoned out and really know that I've done the work. This all keeps my body healthy, refreshes my mind and my soul. I feel good, fulfilled, purposeful and refreshed. My energy level is back up and my stamina is high. It doesn't mean that my obesity level is gone down dramatically or my weight has shrunk totally, but I fit into my clothes again and it just feels good. Will everything always work out? Will I do the exercises day in, day out, week in, week out? Of course not. I stumble, sometimes I fail. I want to be consistent, but it doesn't always work. Life comes in the way again. There are days I don't do anything and just laze around and not do much. But I can't forgive myself because I do know I'm getting back up again and I'm starting my runs and my exercises again. I do it. That's my own inner attitude. And as I mentioned, my app still tells me I'm overweight, but I have come to terms with it. My goal is not to have six apps, but to feel good. Now, one word to you watching this video. Please understand that this is my way 
way of dealing with my life. I just wanted to share with you my journey of feeling better about myself. Don't take my tips above as a health advice. I am not licensed to give you those advices. So if you want to be sure about your own health, better check with a doctor who is licensed to give you those insights. But let me know in the comments if you like my little tips of how I start changing my life a little bit here and there. And also please let me know in the comments if you like to see more videos of this type on my channel. And I'm off to create my next video. And until then, Terma Kaze, Jim Balagi and bye bye.